Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can retarget the Lara project animations over to a Cinti compatible rig. So right now, this is the Lara project. I just downloaded it and opened it up. Um, and I'm actually looking at some of the animations right now. So let's take a look. And we've got a forward jog here. It looks really good. It's a great project. And what I've also done is uh, if you download uh, the uh, retarget Cinti from the mocap central site, the project, uh, this is it opened up. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna migrate this over and you can see that we've got uh, the retarget. So I'm gonna migrate this over to the Lara and content and select folder. Right, so let's take a little look. And if we go over to here, we should see uh, this project in here. There it is, it's just been added. Okay, great. So first thing I need to do here is uh, if I go to my simple character here and I look at rigs and remember the uh, MC pool is Unreal compatible. So let's double click this. And we'll see that right now there's no animations uh, on this uh, character to bring across. So we need to do a little bit of an association uh, with that character. So go to MC Paul. Let's go to Meshes. Let's go to the skeleton. And we're going to make compatible. So select here. And we need to find the compatible rig. Uh, I think that'll be the right one. I can see MK, SK Mannequin is UE5. And you can see it's Characters Heroes. I think that'll be the correct one. And hit save. That was really simple there. Let's go back here and let all the animations come across because we can see them all in here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, let's look at some animations here. There's a couple of, there's a jog. Uh, and I'm gonna look at the mail. Blah, blah, blah. And the main reason I wanna look at this one is, you can see um, these mostly work, but I did notice on this jog forward, you got this arm popping up, uh, the left arm. Uh, so what I found out is if you click this and say one-to-one, -one, that issue goes away. It's the first time I've seen it. So there's obviously some reason there. Um, I already have the blend source at, uh, you know, one. So it's a full IK at this point. But now that stops that issue. Okay. So uh, let's export a few animations here. I'm just going to select these. Uh, jogs, we do left, right, ba, 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 ba. let's go, yeah, just down, backwards and forwards, let's do that. So what you can do here, uh, export, and I'll find a folder that I made under NC Simple, uh, let's call these uh, MCS, I'm just going to do that, so uh, I've got a prefix that I know, export, excellent, so let's go take a look at them. Here's their animations and look at the forward. Make sure it came across good. Yeah, that elbow didn't seem to be a problem now on the left. Uh, let's try backwards. Excellent. Okay, let's export these now because you won't be working inside this project normally. You'll just be porting this across uh, to your project. So you can right click everything and go bulk export. I'm already in an export folder called Lyra. And uh, let's say go. Uh, now this will export FBX files you can then bring into your project. Okay, I think that is already done, which is excellent. Okay, uh, I'm going to move over to a project now uh, with some uh, Cinti characters in so we can bring in the animations. So here's a project um, and I've got a few Cinti uh, packs in here. I've got a lot of things in here actually, some of the mocap central stuff as well. Um, so we're going to drop the animations in here. One thing when you do the multi-bulk export um, from Unreal, it does like to embed everything in multiple folders. So be ready for that. So I'm going to grab all these, um, drag them in, and then I need to associate these to a skeleton. And what we can do here is we can go down and look for um, the pack that we're going to bring it into in this case. So we're going to bring this into character dungeon skeleton. Let's say that's the project I'm using. I can bring that in and import. And let's have a little look. Uh, there we go. So it's on the ghost because that's kind of the default character for the skeleton here. So let's save all that. Uh, let's bring in a character. Who should we bring in? I always like these guys. Always fun. Okay, let's bring this chap in. Let's go in and go asset. 
Uh, let's look at the animations. So I did I did name them Lara, so we actually see them. And let's go forward and hit play. So here we go. You've been able to bring across the animations. Uh, and you can see the hands and that look pretty good there. Uh, I think that looks like it's going to work. Okay, so let's have a look at another animation while we're here. Might as well. Let's look at the uh, start. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, so this is obviously a start animation, so it's not expected to loop. It's just going from idle and running. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. But I think that will help you um, being able to use Lyra's great pistol and gun animations uh, in your own project on Cindy characters. Bye then.